Hi, I'm here to answer another frequently asked question, which is how do I improve my sex life in my marriage? So um, this actually came about, I've had a couple clients mention this over the years, but um, where they talk about that they are married and their single friends are having more sex than they are. And how is that possible when you have a designated person that's supposed to have sex with you, yet your single people who don't have more sex. So um, the answer to that is that your single people make it a priority. So when they are casually dating people or whatever, um, and that person calls them and says, hey, can you hang out? They will rearrange their schedule oftentimes or try to make that date happen. And in a marriage, you don't do that as often. You kind of figure, well, that person's gonna be there tomorrow, next week, so if we need to reschedule, then we'll reschedule and I know they'll be there. And what happens is you slowly put your relationship lower and lower and lower on the priority list until it's below even cleaning. I've had clients who say, yeah, we were supposed to have a date night, but the house was a disaster, so um, I stayed home and cleaned. Um, I would say that you need to reprioritize your relationship. So your relationship really needs to be your top one or two priorities. Obviously, if you have kids, your kids need to be a priority. Um, but your relationship should always be right up top. So scheduling time to have a date is the most important thing that you can do. Even if you don't get out of the house, but you're simply after the kids going to bed, playing cards or you know, doing something interactive, taking a bath together, a shower together, whatever it is. Um, and also, people who are dating each other tend to do activities that lead to sex more often than people who are married. For example, giving someone a, mas a back massage, making out, those are the sorts of things that single people tend to do when they're dating somebody. And married people just kinda are too tired. And so I want you to think about what are the things that you would do if you were single? What are the things that your single friends are doing? And start stepping that up, doing those things in a relationship. Um, you know, the average healthy relationship, um, they're having sex once a week. I would say, you know, schedule time for intimacy that might lead to sex. You know, obviously if you're not in the mood, don't have sex. But um, if you're scheduling time to have a massage, to um, have a candlelit dinner, to do things like that, you're gonna be more likely to be in the mood. So I hope this helps and um, you can also look at my 30 day relationship challenge and I really encourage you to do that every single day in your relationship because those sorts of things really work to connect you and your spouse. All right, I hope you have a great day.